Happy to be here in Hong Kong, first time here. That's right, first time visiting Hong Kong and I'm really excited to see what Hong Kong has in store for Monica and I. We flew United from San Francisco International Airport at night around 10 p.m. Unfortunately, no sunset visuals. And the flight was a total of 15 hours and 15 minutes. Yeah, it was a super long flight, so a bunch of movies to watch along with sleep. Now, since I'm pescatarian, this was my first meal and it was all right. As for my second meal, it was breakfast time and this one was a lot better. And before you know it, it was sunrise and here we are in Hong Kong. We landed safely at Hong Kong International Airport. So it's 9.26. We kind of checked in the hotel, but we can't like actually check in, check in the hotel. So we're just gonna walk around, find some food. I forgot a camera strap. So I'm gonna try to find a camera strap somewhere down here because we're staying in Sim Sa Shui. I'm probably pronouncing it wrong, but that's what we're doing right now. So good luck to us. Took a little detour because we were hungry so we're eating at a red tea it's breakfast time so we're trying to figure out tea so a little detour right now update after eating the food was really good over there so two thumbs up but uh we're still on a hunt to get the strap can't find out i'm hoping to get like a peak design or something but we're somewhere all these camera shops are they closed or we're getting lost we're still on a hunt so wish us luck finally we're able to check in finally to our hotel room they gave us the option of a twin size bed like two of them or a queen size bed, which we opt out for the queen size bed. But all in all, I was able to find a camera strap. And the one thing that I wanted to meet in Hong Kong was actually David Chan, who's been into cameras and photography in general for a very, very long time. Took a photo with him. Very cool to chop it up with him and everything about photography related, about anything just like that. So super cool. But we're here in the hotel room. We're gonna rest up for a bit. Just happy to finally get my camera strap so I can hook it up on my other camera, take pictures while this one does video. And then later on, we're gonna go ahead and go to the temple market. But just in general, happy to be here in Hong Kong. We just got off the train first time taking mtr which is like their public transportation but we're like in this like super high rise like above and stuff so it's pretty cool to see this but we're gonna go see if i can find some uh pokemon cards so first day here and uh it's very overwhelming but we'll see what we can find So here we are at the Temple Night Market at this restaurant. And to be honest, I forgot what it's called. But the one photo I wanted of Temple Night Market, which is a really cool shot. But unfortunately, the garage was demolished and it was blocked off due to construction. As for the food, Monica got the Hong Kong baked seafood cheese rice style. And I got the stir fry noodle dish on an iron skillet. Morning. It's about 9.35 in the morning. Woke up not too long ago. And then I realized that I forgot a few things. A camera strap, which is how that went. And now I forgot one of the most important things about going on any trip, an external hard drive. That's kind of today's morning plan right now. So I'm gonna try to find one today and see how things go. I just hate how I'm super forgetful and there's no one to blame except myself. So yeah. <music> I was able to get a hard drive, which worked out. And it was a lot cheaper here in China. So that's actually, really, it's like a big center spot. A lot of electronics, computer parts, video games, and all these kind of things. So we're gonna get to like one more photo spot and then probably chill and find something else to do until like sunset time, which is like four-ish hours, give or take. But so far, it's been pretty good.
We're on the Avenue of Stars where like the Bruce Lee statue is. And it's all those like super windy, super crowded, but has like probably one of the best like skylines I've seen, especially in like a condensed city like this. It's pretty cool to see all this and everything. And they got the Christmas lights because Christmas is going. But I'm bumping to somebody, but it's just enjoying this. Nong Ping 360. It took a while to get here because uh, all the taxis don't take card or visa as they would say. So we stopped by ATM, got cash. Now we're here, we're gonna go on like this gondola or the cable car, we're gonna go on the cable car. Yeah, so it's a 360 view and can't wait to see Big Buddha. Cable car getting up here was like one thing, it was like windy. I didn't know how long it was, a couple of mountains since we got to the top. And then we get to here, about where the big Buddha is, which is to my left. It's like a walkway. It's like, it feels like you're in a past time. And then we're at this, I don't really know what this is called, this area, but there's like monks in the center, these big pillar things like writings and then we got some uh, cows. We're gonna have a big Buddha. It's like 200 plus steps under 300. Did not know there's a city here. So So Monica and I just got done going up the stairs to Big Buddha, which is to the left of me. And you know, to be honest, it's not that bad. They said it's like 200 something steps. It's nothing too crazy. My bag's about like five-ish, 10 pounds. And then I'm carrying along with this 70 by 200. It's pretty solid. It's like a little funeral burial site up top and stuff like that. Super cool. Uh, highly would recommend it. But in the meantime, it's currently 2.34. Sun's peeking out. So we're gonna see if we can catch sunset at Victoria Peak, which is like the number one photo spot that I really, really wanted to do. So we'll see how things go. But otherwise than that, highly recommend this spot. All right, we're here. And although it's a little windy, which you guys can hear right now, it's not as bad. And so this is Lugar Road. Like, so Sky Terrence is like behind us. You get on this road. You keep going for about, I guess, like 10 minutes, 15 minutes, give or take. And you see the one view. So this is the view, the photo opportunity that I've been wanting to see for, I don't know how many years now. Like this is one of my like number one photo bucket list here in Hong Kong. And even on my phone, this is the background right here. Right now it's 438, sunset's gonna be about five-ish, give or take. Clouds, everything's lining up in our favor, and I'm super excited. I'm so excited about this one. I was telling Monica in, in the taxi, like, this is like my number one photo spot. I really wanna see, take a photo of it in general, just be like, yeah, I've been there, I took a photo of it, but here we are, so I can't wait to see and show you guys this one right here. hear that we made it to the first location we have like the tai chi and then some guy playing basketball but this is like the one photo spot that everyone usually takes 
like very Instagrammable, but this is probably like the last time this is all gonna be like this because they're gonna like redevelop everything. So here's like an article on that. And it just kind of sucks because it's like a really peaceful, nice place for like the residents that live here in like Choi Hung area. So it's really nice, peaceful, and it's really cool. Meeting up again right now. <laughs> we found him. There he is. Mr. All over the world. Oh man. What's up? Look, this one's like only $100, but they have the SDs here. This one here, this one. They have a few good colorways, but this is like Mong Kok, so it's pretty cool to see all these here just kind of sitting. It's pretty dope, even like these vintage ones here. Pretty cool. It's 11.16. It's now starting to get busy in Hong Kong. Usually most of the stores open around like 10, 11. But we started around this time because we were just honestly just exhausted. And that's just one of the things like when you travel, you do a lot of things. You're just like, damn, my body's sore, everything's sore, and you just want to relax. So that's kind of what we did last night. So I just let the camera just kind of do its own thing. We've got security doing this thing over here, so. But we got rest, so today we're gonna be doing like causeway based stuff, which is all like the streetwear. We're gonna go get some food right now. Red tea is this one spot that has really good pineapple buns, like one of my favorite things. monster building area basically you go here and then you get the whole structurized so it's like a waiting game right now you got videographers photos everybody just wants their picture and stuff so we're just basically waiting there's people on my right and to my left and it's just people here trying to get their photo here so you just wait you be nice because everybody just wants all the same thing so but it's pretty cool to finally just see this like monstrous this is cool trying this out or GU and we're trying some stuff out. It's pretty good quality. It's kind of like their Uniqlo in a sense, but it has like, it's pretty affordable. So yeah. Um, <laughs> Chun, we're at Chun Jung Hoi 
I'm probably butchering it at a restaurant. There's a lot of locals here, so it's usually a good sign. So the one person that I know in Hong Kong that has helped me with like sneakers, he's helped me with the 1985 metallic orange, the gray grip tape Pro Bs from 99 that's like really hard to come down now. It was all thanks to this guy, Jason Ling. Without him, I probably wouldn't have completed the original Air Jordan set, so thank you for that. And he's here, he's here with this restaurant. He's, he's right here. So I'm, I'm so happy that we were able to link up and I'm just so happy that we were spending time. Whether it's short or long, that's all that really mattered to me. That I was able to link up with him, say hi, and just make some great memories. So we're gonna have some good food and um, yeah. Dude, thank you so much, man. <laughs> thank you so much. All right, so we're eating. We're almost like done. So if you guys don't know, this is the original Air Jordan 1 hang tag. Still in pretty solid condition overall. But the one thing that Jason brought, which was like, I was joking around like, oh, just bring it, let me just see it. It's in this bag right here. This is a original Air Jordan 1, the non-metallic black. So like the swoosh is that straight leather black, the non-matching outsole, but it's like not metallic, which is like super rare. We have no idea how much this shoe is worth, but this is definitely a unicorn and a collector's dream to have. So for him to bring this is like, holy crap. It's a size 10 and a half, the three's 85, 11, 12, STPS. Yeah. yeah, so it's like very interesting. And then it's not crunchy and it's holding and retaining its shape overall. To see this in person is a unicorn, so wow. And nothing's different about it, so that's really cool. Here it is. Wow. Put this away. I'll take pictures later. I'll take pictures later. Le 1138. Today is our last full day here in Hong Kong. And by our hotel is a shopping mall. It's called City Harbor, if I'm not mistaken. This is basically like this street here is where all the designer stuff is at. So we're gonna go to the mall and we're basically gonna just see what we can get because since today is our like last day, so it's like super chill today. Then we're gonna go to like this really good sneaker spot. I can't wait to see what we got in store for you guys today. Last full day here in Hong Kong and it's gonna be a really good one today. City Harbor Mall still. We've been here probably about two, three hours, give or take. But inside the Babe store, exactly right behind me, we're in the Babe Cafe. Now, they have like these winter special signs like these. Send a sign right there, Babe Cafe. We ended up getting this. It's like this chocolate cake thing. And then the Babe head is actually chocolate out with strawberries, powdered sugar. The second item that we ended up getting, this one was my choice. It's a waffle with strawberries, kiwi, orange, vanilla and chocolate ice cream with syrup spread over it. So it looks really good with powdered sugar and uh, that's pretty much it. The aesthetic is definitely there. This place is really, really nice. So yeah, can't wait to dig in and um, cool being here for sure. Soul Attic. So I just met up with um, the owner, Jeffrey. So this is the outside a bunch of crates and stuff and he brought me something special, so we'll see. And so, oh. Holy, right when you enter, so then this is the sample pair right here with the gum sole. Oh, what size are these? Oh, this is my size. Great. <laughs> so this is a sample pair. I've yeah. only seen this uh, like one time. Project Blitz, yeah, Dre, I think he has one pair, but I, I'm not too sure. Yeah, and yeah. like in the world, yeah, super rare. And then the insole is different. And then you can actually see the sample not for resale on the sock liner. Wow, that's crazy. Oh, this is the sample one too, huh? Oh my gosh. Yeah. This is another sample one. This entire wall is like so much stuff. Dude, what's the history with this one? Only, I think only six pair. Six pair in the mm. world? Yeah, this promo sample. Promo sample, mm. Brazil Lowe's? Yes. Shanghai 2 prototype? Yeah. Oh! Yeah. 
and the Titan. This one looks better. They should have released this one because the other one is uh, like not bad, but I think these would look way better. 2004. Oh, here we go. One of the shoes I'm looking for, the Smurfs. Seen better days, but it's hard to come by now. It's a nine and a half. How much is this one? Hmm? Is he selling this one? Yeah. You need Astra. Oh, Jeff, where are you? I need to know. This is one of the shoes I've been looking for to complete the set. So I had the gray grip tape, black uh, Ross pair. I need these Smurf. I need the putties. And then there's a white gray grip tape. It was like really hard to find. I don't know why, but it's it's like super extremely hard to find. 99 Pro B Smurfs. This is one I really want to get. Okay. Flash is one of my favorites. Bisons. Is there any sabotages here? SBTGs? Oh, it's not my size. Here's the sabotages. I had them before. I sold them, but I actually want them back. This one has really crispy uh, paper still. It's eight and a half though so it's not my size the only problem with sabotage is like two things so takashi is the first one with the gold swoosh they oxidize super bad they turn like a gold and green like this so that's that so here's the back side how it's supposed to look like the other part is the black part the front part i don't know it's like the slam cities right the wow. material they use like bad along with the, the nike so it just kind of sucks, but that just happens over time. But this is one of the shoes I really wish this was my size. We got True Reds, the Forbes, some Off-Whites down here. It looks like they're running athletic shoes well, on this side here. Look, an original pair. But Jeff was saying that it's hard to find a lot of stores like this. So it's really nice to have a display at, and I have all this stuff. This is super crazy. Besides the one you showed me, like, what do you think? Is it just this? You think yeah. it's the hardest? Yeah. And I think undefeated four. Undefeated fours? Yeah. Oh, there's more here. Okay. Oh, there's, what's it? They got a six and a half for you. Okay. Two six and a half. So this is the infamous undefeated four. 89 pairs, give or take, maybe. Yeah. Super limited number. It's less than 100 pairs. I don't know exact number. This shoe is extremely expensive. This is just one of those shoes where like, if you're a diehard collector, this is one of those. Find a size six. Mahogany Hems. Find a size six dead stock. If you guys know me, this is my very first nike sb and this comes with a replacement box but it's size six and a half but a silver box nowadays is just so hard to come by especially these smaller size so is there anything different with this one or no just the uh, size it just oh it's a size 10 yeah the size 10. usually si samples are nine though that's mm -hmm. why oh okay size 10. so that's a sample the paisley one the brown pair and then there's this one the concords which everything looks all the same right nothing looks anything different but if you look at the soles it's not a clear sole it's not translucent it's like one solid color very light brown grayish i would say i can't really say but it's a solid color so there was another one that i stumbled across from this isn't the original box i just noticed but this one they never made in adult sizes this is probably one of the shoes where i wish they did because it is a brand new dead stock pair of like the hulks one of the shoes i really wish they made bigger sizes this is unfortunate plus the midsole is like super wide on these so this is the one shoe that i really want to get so we're gonna find out it's a nine and a half no box it's worn so we'll see again a big thank you to soul addict jeff the workers here give us some free merch so thank you to them can't thank them enough really appreciate it a lot all right we're gonna find out how much here with jeff soul addict Hi. Much appreciate I, Hong Kong, y'all been showing a lot of love. I'm really appreciate and grateful for you guys. Very thankful. Jeff got, said he got something special, so I have no idea. I thought his shop was crazy enough, so we'll see. Oh, no. oh, my oh. name is Jeff. Okay. <laughs> oh, this, this is 2003. The Han, the Han, yeah. Non non like uh, polo or whatever. Yeah, it's sneaker only. And what we are showing today? Hold on. Oh. It's a oh, you, oh, you have both? This is where they get in trouble. Yes. <laughs> it's like a cease and desist. So like this is where the controversy of like the Heineken shoe was like, we should keep it, but take it away. But they, this stuff is like non-existent yeah, too. Yeah, man. Next. Oh, he said oh, next. We, he got we, more. We'll take, we'll take some pictures. Oh, he got a lot more. Oh my yeah, God. Man. Oh my God. Oh, the sample? The Loon sample. Okay. So 2004. Um, Yes. Sample. Okay. Then the journal released um, in 2009. Yeah. Yeah, five years So years. you might know him, DK underscore nomadic, Derek. He's a long time good friend of mine. I think he has a sample. DK. Yes, know, Derek. He came to my store. Oh, so he did. Yeah, Shout man, out yeah, to yeah, Derek. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 DK, yeah. Derek. yeah yes, they, it is. Nice guy, man. I met him about five years ago. Good. The version, they had the stitches in yeah. print like this. This is good. <laughs> Who's Medicom fans? Medicom toys fans. Me? What do you, what do you have? Medicom, this, oh, okay. Then, okay. Uh, but the tongue? The prototype in red. Oh, I've never seen this one. The prototype. The sample? Yeah, sample. Number I've never one. seen this one. Size 10 sample. 10? Yeah. It's supposed to be 9. Yeah, man. The tag is different. Not, the, not, the, not the normal sample tag. I think 10. red looks better. It makes it yeah, stand man. out more. 
stand out, you know. Dun -dun. I've only seen pictures of this. I don't know too much about this one. I know the designer, his name is Turtle, and I asked him where the inspiration came from, from the ice cream, the Lapolin. Oh, Neapolitan ice cream. Yeah, this okay. is the colorway of it. Oh, these feel great. Yeah. And like the Tiffany swoosh. Okay. One of three, the fish loader. They released the normal one. Different. I think the quality is didn't pass. So they didn't make it. Each one is unique. So this is the release version, like that. They did a swoosh. Like it's like a blackish, like a fish scale, but then this one is like what would you say it feels like? Like a fur that's been shaved or, or like something? A fish. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know how to explain it, but it, there, there's like a little tiny hairs. Yes. These look really cool. Like in the light yeah, and I stuff. Love it. Yeah. One of my favorite samples. If you are oh fan, no, you have the original pair. Penny's in... call this tiger. Tiger, yes. Yeah. But Americans call it wildcat. The only difference I think is I don't know if there's any other like leather Over differences. The it's the tongue is this one. So I don't know how many pairs they produced or made, but the earliest this... one that Nike had that on their tongue. Yeah. In basketball shoes. I think this is the first one that they made. And then they just went with the Nike tag afterwards or something. Yeah. Huh? They saw the Kentucky, so... There's a three type of version. This is like the version one. Yeah. The version two, they also have the... The, the big Nike or on the back. And the Air Dunk. Yes. Air Dunk in... In with the, the with, with this one, with this but one. this is the one that people want though, because it's a Nike Dunk. Yeah. But yeah. And the last one they had in low. Oh man. Wow. This is it. Eighty-five Dunks doesn't have air, right? Okay. No air, right? Uh huh. The air went to the Air Jordan. Dunk doesn't have air. So just, what is it like? Just padding. But nineteen eighty-seven. Uh huh. Nike released a model called Air Pro. This is Air Pro. So this is it right here. Yeah. It looks like a Dunk. Yeah. But, you know, not looks like it exactly. Designed like a dunk. But why they call Air Pro? Because they had the air unit oh, on the, so, the so insole. This is it right here. Yeah, but the insole is totally crumbled. Oh, so this I is see. where the Nike SB took the inspiration from. Oh, okay. I thought yeah. they just decided to just put more padding there. So this is part of the insole? Yeah, part of the insole. But I'll show you the pictures. It's totally okay. crumbled. That's yeah. the article. Air Pro. The, the insole. Yeah. But so. already crumbled. And I saved. The air unit. That's that's the most important part. The rest is like whatever, you know. Say let's save this one. Yeah. While you have this, this is the inspection photo. If you know, you know, but if you don't, this is where they're in the factory where it's the Black Supreme Lows in 2002 in production. I've never seen this one or held this one in person. I've just seen it in like on the internet. So what people only see is this front right here, but they never actually see the back part, which is like there's more pairs and you can see in the back there's orange boxes. Another pair there, and you just have workers. So then if we open it up like this, you can actually see it, the full thing. That's the actual full image right there. Larry, hey. holy <laughs> shit. Oh, oh, hold on. I'm leaving Hong Kong tomorrow, and randomly, I'm walking back to my, I saw Audi R8, I was like, yeah. okay, it looks very familiar. I was like, there's no way I run into Larry <laughs> out of nowhere. They're telling it. Ah, uh, damn. Poor car. Oh, wow. Uh, it's too low. What's up, people? <laughs> so we're leaving uh, Singapore tomorrow. Oh my god, it's crazy. Enjoy Singapore. Yeah, nice to meet, nice you. To meet you. Yeah. Thanks. Oh, oh man. Where do I begin? We're gonna begin by drinking some Kari Sweat because I absolutely love Bakari Sweat. This is great. This is our officially our last day here in Hong Kong before tomorrow we leave to go to Singapore. I didn't thank Jason, because he actually gave me a gift. These are the double-decker buses, I believe, the transportation. So he gave me this, which is really cool. And then he gave me, I believe it's called the Ding Ding Tram, which is pretty cool, because Hong Kong has that a lot, and their public transportation is amazing here. So thank you again, Jason. I really appreciate that. In the Harbor City Mall, ASCE ended up getting this, the Disney Mickey Mouse, for a gift for somebody. So this is how it looks. And spending an X amount of money, they gave us a a bear brick this is series 44 so we're gonna open this one up later and then along with this thing so it's pretty cool it opens up inside it there's three different colors their mask speaking of uh taxi which i didn't show end up getting this as well so this one's for monica's nephew so a taxi thing is super big here especially in the color red that they have the one thing i wanted to find throughout hong kong or any trip that i go to i try to find the city or place that i'm visiting or country or whatever i finally found one where it was made it says hong kong with the swoosh in a like purple-ish color so there's that 
that and then this is how the back looks so finally got something hong kong that says hong kong but that's one thing i always try to get and then again shout out to soul addict the hospitality was amazing i, w I didn't expect this at all this one is the anonymous and then the swoosh is kind of cut off to show like that heel drag effect and then this is the back where it says sb pro hunter this is another inspired nike sb from the london sb and then on the back is a bigger sign but there you go story with this one what he told is he did a collaboration with reese four of himself so those are his shoes right there got the years that's the front and on the back trends come and go but history defines us didn't expect that super crazy he ended up giving me this book it's when they did the museum with a bunch of the sbs so here's like the hazes pro bsbs before the sb stuff like actual signed stuff like this so this is like their actual pairs from the skaters again i really appreciate it a lot and then we ran into larry chen if you guys don't know who larry chen is he does automotive photography and he was just right outside there was a bunch of cars and he was just there doing his youtube thing filming such a nice dude I, it's just so crazy to run into him and then he actually just ended up giving me some stickers a couple of them so thank you again larry very nice guy nice to finally meet him and the bear brick series 44 blind box hey from squid games okay not bad okay so that's that i'm gonna pack up clean up hong kong trip has been amazing and i'll see y'all in singapore bye Yeah.